probably clicked on this video because you want to have more confidence. You want to go into the new year as a stronger and more confident person. Cause I ain't been perfect, but at least I got a purpose. Rising stars in my contact list, we hippies and we merch it. Conversations with the greatest, can't wait to say I made it. Shouts to those who say I helped them get through hard times, through my favorite. Shouts to channels that upload me and the haters. That What's up, y'all? It's Yana and I'm back with another video. As you can see from the title, I'm going to be telling you guys how to be a baddie in 2020. Like, it's a new year, new year coming up. You need to set your new year's resolution as being a baddie, having self-confidence, knowing that you are the sugar honey iced tea. So if you wanna learn more about how you can be a baddie, how you can stunt on these hoes with your self-confidence, make sure that you give this video a huge thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and most importantly, follow me on social media so you can stay in touch with your girl. And without further ado, we're just gonna hop right into the video. So the first thing that I would recommend to be confident and to walk into 2020 as that bitch is to fake it till you make it. I know that might sound crazy, but what I mean by this is if you wanna be confident, you need to be confident. You're walking down the street and you think your head is big, <laughs> you think your hair is fucked up, you think your sneakers are, old or you need a new pair or your nails ain't done walk outside walk down that street like your nails are done like your hair is done like you're literally that bitch i promise you the energy that you put out is the energy that you are attractive your energy is out there like yes who's that bitch me who's that baddie me then you will be that baddie and that's on period it's so important to have a confident mindset if you want to be confident visualizing yourself as the person that you want to be in life is gonna be a quick way to gain some confidence know the person that you want to be know the way you want to look know the diet you want to have know the way you want to speak to somebody know the confidence you want to have when you walk out of your room every day you walk out of your house every day visualize your higher self and show up as that person and you will be a baddie in 2020 i'm telling you. you know some people they might feel more confident when they do do it now they do their, they do their hair they do their makeup that's how they that's how they feel most comfortable and most confident. And if that's the case, girl, you're a baddie. You know, like me, for example, I love to have my hair done, my nails done, my makeup done, and I feel like a baddie. So that's what I do to be confident. Do what makes you happy. In order to be confident, you need to not give a fuck about what anybody thinks about you. So we already got the step down that you're comfortable with yourself now you have to be comfortable with people thinking whatever the fuck they want to think about you and you not caring at the end of the day you know yourself and that's important too. always know yourself spend time by yourself spend time talking to yourself spend time getting to know you and the person that you are because once you know who you are nobody else can tell you anything if you know that you have this flaw and you become comfortable with it and somebody else points out that flaw it's like girl i already knew that and guess what i'm still i'm still a baby and if there's something about you that you don't like you need to take steps to change it or you accept it you got this don't worry about it it's most important when you're working through this and when you're getting to know yourself that you're not comparing yourself to other people like I know me personally, my explore page is full with people um, who look very pretty. Like so many Instagram models, so many people with big butts, big titties, and I'm skinny. I have no titties, no behind, I'm a stick. But guess what? Like I know myself and I know that about myself, you know what I mean? And it's like either I'm gonna gain weight so that I could look similar to them or I'm not gonna give a fuck and I'm just gonna be happy in my own skin. At the end of the day, you have to look at them like, oh yeah, they're cute, like she's mad cute. Like compliment other people. Yeah, she's mad cute. I saw this girl in my, my ex okay, she's so cute. But guess what, I'm cute too. We both cute. Knowing that you can exist and you can be confident in somebody else's cloud of confidence. It's room for everybody. No need to compare yourself to them. You can never be somebody else. Like that's never a thing that could happen in this world. You can only be yourself. So what's the point of comparing yourself to another person? You could never be them, no matter what, no matter what. Yes, you hear from me, you can't be anybody else. So just be yourself the best way you know how to be yourself. Don't doubt yourself either. And always be looking for solutions to any problems that you have with yourself, that you have with 
anything that's going on around you, always be looking for a solution. You don't like something about yourself, don't focus on the issue that you don't like about yourself. Focus on how you can fix it. How can you fix it? How can you get better? And then by you focusing on things that can get better, you're already training your mind to be more confident. You're already training your mind to be a better, a better, better version of yourself. And once you get into that habit, it's gonna become an ongoing thing. And once it becomes a habit, it's over. You're already on your way to being a baddie in 2020. Don't sit here and dwell on things that you can't change. Not even the way you look. Just anything in life, if you can't change something, get over it. Self-care is so important. I know we see self-care on the internet a lot. Like that's a word that has been um, lingering in society. If you need to take a day off, if you need an easier mind, if too much stuff around you is draining you, you can. it's okay to take breaks. It's okay to not speak to somebody for a couple days to get your mind straight. It's okay to set boundaries and know what you want and know what you don't want and know what you won't put up with because that's all things that can mess with your self-confidence with your esteem with your mind and that can affect you. it can throw off your confidence and you don't need anything thrown off your confidence because guess what sis we're walking into 2020 as a freaking baddie period okay care for yourself take baths if you need to freaking treat yourself to a spa day um do what you need to do write if you, you like to write write in your notebook do what you need to do just make sure that you are caring for yourself and make sure that you are loving yourself like love yourself before you love anybody else you need to be selfish with your love for yourself know that you're the shit tell yourself that you're the shit look yourself in the mirror every day when you wake up and say you are beautiful you are worth it you can be where you need to be in life because it's true literally you can do anything in this freaking world and that's coming from me this is personal now we on a personal level and i advise everybody to dream big but if you need to take those small steps do that but just know that regardless that big dream that's at the end of those small little goals will happen for you it will happen for you it can happen for you bring it back to the beginning when i said fake it till you make it if you don't believe that you can achieve the goals that you would like to achieve fake it till you make it tell yourself i'm gonna achieve it even if you like yo i would not like that's really never gonna happen it happens all the time um i can attest to this that manifesting stuff and just showing up and faking it till you make it will get you very far if you mess up, if you make a mistake, if you do something dumb, know that it's okay. Like, if you really think about it, confident people, they make mistakes all the time. But you want to know what the difference between a confident person is and a person who doesn't have confidence? Is that the confident person is not going to be ashamed about any mistake they make. Because we are all human. Like, get that through your brain that we're all human and we all go through things. We all make mistakes. People who are confident are gonna laugh. So next time you make a mistake, I need you to laugh about it. You do something so dumb, bro. Just be like, yo, I'm so like, let it just fly right over your head and keep on with your day. Do something dumb, you make a mistake, do it again the right way. Don't overthink things in life. Really just take life as it is. You have to practice resilience. Like you can't let little things get to you. You can't let things that people say get to you. You can't let your own mind get to you. Like you have to balance everything out. Think positive. You're just living like honestly nobody on this earth knows what the f we're doing like we all come into the world as a baby and we all are trying to make something of ourselves in this world we're all trying to live like nobody's perfect even the most confident person is not perfect the most confident person to you might not even be that confident the person that's on instagram that you're comparing yourself to might not even be confident but they're going to get up every day and they're going to pose in front of that camera and they're going to take a bomb ass pic eventually the as, as they kept posting more pictures of themselves telling themselves that they're pretty 
they start attracting people who believe really they're pretty too and now they know they're pretty they know they're a baddie they don't gotta walk into 2020 as a baddie because they've been one this being said i want you guys to really think about that take note of it guys girls animals everybody i want y'all to take note of that and apply these tips to your real life don't just watch this video for motivation i want you to take everything i said and put it into action i want everybody to go into 2020 a confident baddie so keep a positive mind in 2020 make sure that you have some new year new year's resolution and when you speak to people you're sitting up straight in 2020 make sure that you're speaking to people like know what you mean and you mean business literally make sure that you take a control of your life in 2020 because honestly if you're watching this video we're family so you might as well go subscribe like this video and comment down below i want to see my family confident we confident on this side so i need to make sure that y'all confident on that side and with that being said thank you so much for watching my video i love y'all to death 2020 know that you coming for their asses okay okay thank you for watching my video bye